The 1A is Nordic Bish, owned by Joie de V Farm of Jobstown, New Jersey, trained by Paul Boer. Luke Wallette is the driver. Number two, Cartier Hall, is owned by Joseph Mendelson of Santa Barbara, California, trained by Doug Ackerman. His son, D.R. Ackerman, is in the bike. Number three, Limitless Sky, is owned by Al Libfeld, Marvin Katz, and Sam Goldband of Ontario, trained by Chuck Sylvester, the driver, John Campbell. Number four, Norway But My Way, owned by Stein Soli, Joe Sirocco, and Per Clausen of Florida, Ohio, and Norway, trained by Arald Egan, Tony Morgan in the bike. Number five, C.R. Ms. American Pie is owned, trained, and driven by Rod Allen of Ocala, Florida. Number six, Chips Tally is owned by Jack Gray, Jr. of Bergen, Kentucky, trained by Jack Gray, the driver, Jim Robinson. Number seven is Malabar Mist, owned by MCB Farm of Paramus, New Jersey, of Malvern Burroughs, trained by Jimmy Tactor. Mal Burroughs will drive. Number eight, Glide Path, is owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky, trained by Ron Gerfine. The driver is Mike Lachance. And number nine, Mars Bar, owned by the Armstrong Brothers of Inglewood, Ontario, trained by Jimmy Tactor. And Jimmy Tactor is the driver. The fourth race, first trip of the Philly World Trotting Derby, is less than five minutes from post. They're at the post, and the gate is rolling. eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come for the Philly World Trotting Derby. Malabar missed off stride. Glide path off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Norway but my way and Limitless Sky come out to battle for the early lead. Cartier Hall is right there toward the rail. CR Ms. American Pie gets away trotting in the fourth position as they head round the first turn. Then Nordic Dish moving up on the outside. There goes Cartier Hall to get the lead by a length. Limitless Sky goes second. Norway but my way is third. Nordic Dish goes fourth. CR Ms. American Pie is fifth against the rail. Then Chips Tally, Mars Bar and a long way back to Glide Path and Malabar Mist who both broke stride at the start. 28 and 3 was the time for the opening quarter and Cartier Hall leads it by two lengths heading up the back stretch. Limitless Sky goes second by a length and a half. Norway but my way comfortably trotting in third. Then Nordic Dish against the rail in fourth. Followed by CR Ms. American Pie. Then Chips Tally flanked by Mars Bar. A gap of 30 more lengths back to Glide Path and another 25 to Malabar Mist. Here comes Norway but my way off the rail and moving up at the halfway juncture and Nordic Dish is in the outer flow of traffic as well. 58 and 3 was the time for the half. Cartier Hall leads it by a neck. Norway but my way is second on the outside. Limitless Sky back toward the rail is third by a head. Then Nordic Dish. CR Ms. American Pie moves up with cover outside of Chips Tally and Mars Bar joins them but still six lengths off the lead at the three quarters Cartier Hall leads it by a neck Norway but my way is second Nordic Dish is third and angling toward the far outside Limitless Sky needs room then CR Ms. American Pie in the center of the track three quarters 127 and three Norway but my way on the outside of Cartier Hall Nordic Dish joins them into the final eighth mile CR Ms. American Pie is very wide and fourth Limitless Sky needs room desperately as Norway But My Way has the lead. Cartier Hall is game toward the rail. Limitless Sky, no room. CR Ms. American Pie on the outside. Here's the line. Cartier Hall hangs on by a head. Norway But My Way was second. The time, 155 and 1 in the opening heat of the Philly World Trotting Derby. It's a photo finish for the win. Hold all tickets. Owned by Joseph Mendelson of Santa Barbara, California. Trained by Doug Ackerman. Driven by D.R. Ackerman. In the winner's circle, the Garland Lobel Philly, Cartier Hall. Number four, Norway, but my way was second. The five, C.R. Ms. American Pie was third. And number three, Limitless Sky was fourth. The result unofficial.
Let's talk to our winning driver, D.R. Ackerman. His sister, Connie Hochstetler, has just congratulated him. D.R., a half in 58 and 3. Did you expect to be able to get by with a half that soft? No. <laughs> Plain and simple. But it obviously paid off. Nobody came up to test this filly. She raced here as a two-year-old in the Hayes Memorial and won here on the Grand Circuit. How much stock do you put in the idea of racing a horse on the racetrack at two and that making a difference at three? Well, it might make a little difference because they've, you know, been here and uh, essentially you know the surface and you know their tendencies over the track here. It's a little different, the surface and that. So th that much of it would make a little bit of a difference, but I don't think it makes a whole lot. Any concerns about going two heats with this filly? Nope, none whatsoever. As they say, they're all going to have to anyway. Connie Hochstetler mentioned the fact she's the sister of our winning driver. Connie, the reason we want to bring you in is the fact that you are the breeder of Cadabra, who's the morning line favorite for the open division of the World Trotting Derby. Do you take this as a sign of things to come tomorrow? You bet it. That's the only good sign. <laughs> and even the hat here for good luck, the Cadabra hat. <laughs> and this is? This is Jay Hochstetler. Son Jay, his mom Connie. Connie's brother, D.R. Ackerman, the winning connections for the first heat of the Philly World Trotting Derby. Folks, congratulations. How about a hand for the Ackerman family?